Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mary Washington from Farm Tamer Productions. I am a pharmacist, uh, singer, and the founder of Farm Tamer Productions, where you will find holistic and functional wellness through mu music and entertainment. I am hosting a series called Music in Stressful Times, where, where music is the frontliner to COVID-19. Now, you may be wondering, what is a frontliner? A frontliner is usually someone or a person that you would have a connection with and communicate to that represent a particular brand or company. Well, in this case, we're using music as a tool where you will connect with and have that connection with and communicate with during your stressful times or any moments in your lives. Now, I have invited a special person here today. She is a pharmacist, and her monarchy is your number one um, pharmacist DJ. But before we get into it, I would like to just go ahead and tell you that the information provided by Farm Tamer Productions is for informational purposes only and is not intended as medical advice. A substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, treatment, or a guarantee of an outcome. Now, this pharmacist, as I said, is a DJ and her insights are set on the purpose of fulfilling her pursuit of bringing quality and entertaining music to her audience. She received her Doctor of Pharmacy degree in 2006 from Florida AMM and University with a, and with an avid love of the characteristics of music, decided to become a DJ over a year ago. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this journey is all about her facilitating a musical connection with those who matter the most, the people. So I want to welcome Dr. Leanne Powell. How are you today? I am doing fantastic. Thank you so much for inviting me, Dr. Washington. I really do. Oh, no. Thank you for being here and sharing um, your love of music with us today. Absolutely. And one of the things I love is the fact that, of course, you're a pharmacist, but you decided to go along your journey and become a DJ over a year ago. Absolutely. Um, explain your connection with that um, and your journey with becoming a DJ. So I always believed that I was like an outlier when it came to listening to music. I was always that person that whenever I listened, I was more like examining music. And I'm examining for the harmonies, I'm examining for the chords, I'm examining for the little intricacies that each song had. And I thought, well, am I just strange or is that just something that was a precedence to something new? So I always kind of said to myself that, you know, maybe I could take this DJ thing on, but it never really came to fruition until one day, it was actually my birthday. It's not just one day, it's a special day, my birthday. And my husband got me for my birthday a controller. I was very shocked because I knew that I had kind of mentioned it to him, but I never imagined that he would have gotten me a controller. So from that point, I knew that it was real. Mm -hmm. And it really started... The, the DJing really started from me kind of asking a couple of people to, to help me because when it comes to DJing, some people say they're self-taught, which is true. However, you still will need help, whether it be YouTube, whether it be a friend, whether it be someone in the industry. So I did collaborate with a couple of individuals to help me just understand the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And that's really where it began up until this point where I've had gigs, I've done Instagram lives, I've done Facebook lives. So it's not a play thing. It's not a hobby anymore. It's the yes. real deal. Gotcha. Gotcha. And that's, that's unique that you're saying you also examine music, the harmony and the chords, because like right. I said, we have our own unique vibration and connection to music. And right. It is, like I said, it's unique to indiv each individual, but I was wondering in this mm -hmm. case, explain your unique connection to music. 
it could be even during stressful times, your happy moments, because we know, as we both know, stress can be good stress and bad stress. So right. what is your connection with music as being a DJ? When it comes to being a DJ, I kind of look back because I know that you have mentioned a lot the word historical and that to me is so important. I look back to when, I don't know if you remember when Columbia House and BMG used to have those 10 CDs for, for five cents. It was the subscription service. And you okay, would, yes, I do. Yes, I do. yes. I that way for me to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you know, that was back you know, when I was in high school mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I would listen to Jackson 5, ABBA, you know, stuff that most people be like, wait, aren't you supposed to be listening to hip hop? No, like I was listening to your 60s, your 70s, your wild cherry. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started that connection. And fortunately, when I was in high school, I actually did a presentation on the Jackson 5 song, Maybe Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you remember that one. So fast forward to now as a DJ, I realized that in order to have a connection, it's really twofold. You have that connection where you're listening to the music, you're feeling the music, understanding the music. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. as I went back, as going back to high school, that's what I was doing. I was listening. I was feeling. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't feel it, then other people won't feel it. Mm -hmm. that is so like, it's, it's like a proving ground, you know, mm -hmm. you really have to understand the vibe that you're giving off. It's like a person's personality. What vibe do you give off yes. and yes. how are they going to feel you? Yes. So that is what music is all about. The vibe, the personality. I find that most of my songs that I play are about 85 BPM and higher, which you should, you know what BPM is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Beats per minute. For the right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but, right. And that to me allows the audience to really keep moving. Once you start putting in a slow song and it's like, okay, wait, is this a couple song? Is what are we slow dancing? Mm -hmm. People want the party or the gathering or the event to just keep flowing. And that's why I don't know if you notice house music, like EDM is so popular. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it keeps people just bumping, 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 bu and it's just nonstop cardio. Yes. That, so that is the connection for, with the DJing, with me being in high school, and how it flows with people. Mm -hmm. That is so absolutely, oh, how the flow of music, how yes. you have to connect with it in order for others to open up and... Absolutely, absolutely. It's like an unexplainable, I would say, a flow of energy. Yes. Versus out into a crowd. And when you said even the beats per minute, that does matter. And I'm just going to tailor that to um, the healthcare point of view as well. Yes. Yes. So with, as we know, how music has an impact on our lives when it comes to our health, even where it's right. mental and even the heartbeat as we're working out right. and the beats per minute having it to align with our heart rate. So if having yes. us to get up and dance yes. and go exactly. and up and uplift our good yes. endorphins, our good hormones. And yes. Um, and of course, oh my gosh, you just made me thought about even the memories on um, the Columbia House records and stuff. Yes. My, my favorites were uh, Tony Braxton, when you immediately, when you said that was the first thing that came to mind. Right. And then of course, Solo. I don't know if you are familiar with that group, but solo. I got heaven right here on earth. Yes. Thank oh my good. I've never heard that song in so long. <laughs> Let me say something. It's because it had it had instrumentals because I in when I was growing up, I played the violin. Oh, and of course, I didn't really understand exactly the words. I'm a child, but I listened to and examined the music from the harmony and the chords that was being presented. I heard right. the bass player in right. the background. Oh my gosh, it really communicated so much to me. So I really, like I said, it has to connect to people. Yes, yes. Now, Agreed. This, um, now, uh, <laughs> you got me excited <laughs> for a second, but uh, <laughs> um, now, to move on from there, 
Mm-hmm. The other song I would like to say, no, the, uh, the other question I would like to ask is, um, that I ask everybody else is what songs you would place in your repertoire, you will play that would represent our times now, um, or just you would use as a tool to connect with people and help them uplift their mood or whatnot. What songs will you add to your repertoire? So... I am a big Barry White fan. One of the reasons why I'm a big Barry White fan is not necessarily for his voice, Mm -hmm. but most of his songs characteristically had an extended intro. Yes. Right? Yes. And that's why I mentioned about characteristics. His songs had an extended intro to where it built you up Mm -hmm. to the actual song itself once he started singing and that is what you need a lot of times like you might be just in a in a mindset where you're not so motivated you know I don't feel like getting up out of bed you know I'm supposed to clean the house today but you know what I don't feel like it (laughs) when you start playing that Barry White song and you hear Mm -hmm. like look at her that one in particular Mm -hmm. And there, there's an, I think that's one that's sampled quite often. But anyhow, yes. Yeah, so you hear the bass line coming in. You hear the, the instruments, the instruments, yes. the orchestra. Like back then was not electronics. Exactly. Nothing, exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. So you hear that and it's coming up. It's crescendoing to the song. Mm-hmm. Boom. You get up and you mm-hmm. want to clean the house. Boom. Yes. <laughs> Right? Put my spirit at that moment. (laughs) That's one. Yes. And then the second song, I'm a really motivational person. Like, I truly believe, and and honestly, this mindset came about within the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. This mindset was just surrounding yourself, not just with positive people, but positive lyrics from a song. Yes, I agree. Each, Each song you hear a bass line, you hear a melody, but the lyrics, if you really think about it, it's the lyrics that give that song that depth. And there's one Beyonce song that I actually love because I use it in my exercise routine and that's formation. Okay, so formation. Mm -hmm. In the time of this pandemic, we have had a big change. And I say we, this is globally. Is. Having lockdown, quarantine, working from home, people have lost their jobs, unfortunately. Yeah. And you have had to make not just a physical change, but a mental change. Mm-hmm. That song has a, a portion of the lyrics say that, uh, I see it, I dream it, I want it. I grind till I own it, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. And then later on it says, okay, ladies, now let's get in formation. Mm-hmm. This is about, once again, standing up on your two feet, understanding that despite what's going on, it will not, set, it should not set you back, especially if you've come so far. Why should it set you back all the way back? It's just temporary. Yes. So still dream it. Still mm-hmm. own it. Still grind. Right? Mm-hmm. You should never stop grinding. This this Zoom telecast is honestly one of the biggest examples of grinding. Continuing to make yourself a, a fixture in the minds of people. Because it's true. Yes. The, the quote that says, okay, now I forgot. It's, uh, you know, oh yeah, out of sight, out of mind. Uh huh. Right. So I feel that that gives you that motivation to keep within sight and to keep within the minds of people, considering that social media is pretty big right now. So mm-hmm. those are pretty much the two songs. Okay. Okay. Um, for me, mm-hmm. I'm going to go with uh, for my inspirational. The well, of course, I love me some Kirk Franklin. Okay. Okay. I'm always pulling from most of the time is Kirk Franklin. 
And it brings a memory of, of course, um, my mother, because this is one of her favorite songs. It's something about the name Jesus with um, mm-hmm. the Kirk Franklin rendition uh, with Rance Allen. And it's um, inspirational. It's something that, of course, um, um, where I can know that from day to day, even though the things that are going on around us is, it's of course unprecedented, but it's, wow. um, um, I keep saying the term stressful because it is, um, you know, like we said, we have, um, some of our hours has been cut. Correct. Some of us has lost our jobs right. and it's not, it's nonstop. Correct. You know, still got bills to pay. It's still coming in and we're praying like, you know, what's going to happen next? How are we going to get through from one situ- from this particular point in our situation to the next? Right. Right. And so just saying that something about the name Jesus, that song there gives me that focal point from, hey, even though we are in the midst of this, it's going to be okay. Because I can say this from my own situations, my own experience and in my life that I have accomplished so many things to get to where I'm at right now. And this is not going to be the end. And that's for everyone else that is listening. This is not the end. We're going to make it through. And the second song that I have is the song that I'm now I'm waking up to because she gets me out of my bed is Lizzo. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Billy yeah. Cooper has, yes. So for those who are listening, I mean, I do my hair toss and I right. do my nails. Right. Ladies, how you feeling? And it really does. It's, it, it, I think that's probably one of those 85 beats per minute because I'm waking up out of my bed like, oh, okay, yeah, we're we going to get on today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of Lizzo, mm-hmm. Lizzo, I personally believe, is a role model that emulates confidence. Yes. She has a story, and not to get too much into it, but pretty mm-hmm. much she just has accepted who she is Mm-hmm. everything about her she has understood that despite our society you know maybe wanting a certain look a certain mm-hmm. way to talk she comes the way she is and that's another thing with this pandemic this pandemic mm-hmm. i believe should put us into a place where we should really kind of have some self-reflection exactly and understand who am i Mm. Is this pandemic going to change me? Is it going to shift me? Is it going to completely make me different? What is the effect, not mm-hmm. just now, but long term? Mm-hmm. And Lizzo really, to me, honestly, just has that story with respect. Yes. 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 And picking up a particular hobby, practicing the piano, right. the violin, you know. Right. Um, things that you dreamed of doing. This is that time that you can focus right, on, right? And develop those skills. Um, exactly. Absolutely right. Well, of course, my dear pharmacist DJ, Doctor <laughs> Leah Powell. <laughs> I love it. I love you being here today. I want to say thank you so much for stopping by, and. Absolutely. Of course, um, the videos, we have others. They can be found at Farm Tamer Productions on Facebook, Farm Tamer Productions on YouTube, and of course, the links will be shared on LinkedIn. And, And until next time, later.